despite me trying to stay away from all of the fake nonsense, aka mainstream news, I am back with my bi-weekly coverage as I cannot stomach talking about this daily and I don't think my YouTube channel could stomach it either. I mean, it is in the news 24-7 all day, every day, and people are eating it up for the most part. They think what's on the screen is truth without leaving their homes. And the sad thing is that every single news article for the most part is fear-mongering and that fear is being used to control the masses, sheeple, 99% of the population, whatever you want to put it. We don't really have to go into specifics because the simple answer to food shortages and cyber attacks is they're fake. They're staged events. Just like everything else in the news, they're just making things up, lying to you to elicit a specific reaction. There are no real food shortages, no real cyber attacks. It's all fake. Beyond that, if you understand how the mind works, how they have to get people to comply, to agree, to allow this to happen to them, you'll understand why it's in the news. They have to tell us ahead of time what they're going to do and then technically with some sort of ridiculous natural law, if people allow it to happen, they are complying. If these psychos in control could just do whatever they wanted, they wouldn't have to conduct years and years of psychological warfare through all of these media sources. They would just do it. You know, we are at an inflection point, I believe, in the world economy. Not just the world economy, in the world. It occurs every three or four generations. As one of, as the, uh, one of the top military people said to me in a secure meeting the other day, 60, 60 million people died between 1900 and 1946. And uh, since then, we established a liberal world order, and that hadn't happened in a long while. A lot of people dying, but nowhere near the chaos. And now is a time when things are shifting. We're gonna, there's gonna be a new world order out there. There's gonna be a new world order out there. There's gonna be a new world order out there. There's gonna be a new world order out there. And we've gotta lead it. And we've gotta unite the rest of the free world in doing it. So anyway. We are in an inflection point in the world that occurs every three to four generations. <laughs> what does that remind me of? What does it say on the dollar bill? Novo order succorum, a new order of the ages. Very interesting thing to say that reveals more than anyone really understands. I believe these people in control are able to reset society every few generations while compounding their own wealth. With the amount of control and influence they have over the media, and how blindly the sheeple are willing to wander off a cliff, it's easily believable that we're living in some sort of 100 to 200 year simulation. You ever wonder why history before 200 years wasn't really recorded? I hate to break it to you, but it's very well recorded. It's just, you're not in the club, so you don't know what real history is. And I've always wondered, where, where is all this donation money going to these? Are the elites just pocketing charity funds from the stage nonsense? I'm not saying it's all fake. I'm speculating. And, you know, Black Lives Matter, Russia, Ukraine. If it was not 100% as the media is portraying and people are donating all of this money, where's the money going? <laughs> Maybe I deserve a new Mercedes too. Or a Rolls Royce for that matter. With regard to food shortage, yes, we did re re talk about food shortages. And, uh, and it's going to be real. The, the price of these sanctions is not just imposed upon Russia. It's imposed upon an awful lot of countries as well, including European countries and our country as well. This is just more complete f***ing dog shit. Just like big oil used the Russia-Ukraine nonsense to increase fuel prices for no reason. Not one drop of oil entered the U.S., we're not buying oil, gas from Russia, yet prices have doubled in some areas. Guess what's next? Not one crumb of bread, not one ear of wheat will enter the U.S. from the Ukraine. Yet I guarantee that food prices are going to increase even more. There are no fuel shortages. There are no food shortages. There are a bunch of evil, greedy degenerates in charge that just want to pad their bank accounts so they can eat caviar in their caves while they cook everyone with radiation from five grams towers. And you can read articles about this, they publish it. They say corporations have profited more than ever. Yes, prices have increased drastically across the board, 
but corporations double or tripled their margins to increase their profits. Better listen to paid chills like Ice Age Farmer and Stock Up on Seeds. These f***ing comedians won't tell you that owning two or three cattle would keep you fed for years. If you just have two or three acres of land and a few cows, that's... Save your seeds. Save your seeds. You fucking... It's fucking hilarious. Save your seeds. Feed them to the birds. Holy shit. Based on evolving intelligence, Russia may be planning a cyber attack against us. As I said, the magnitude of Russia's cyber capacity is fairly consequential. It provides critical, as you, as providers of critical services that Americans rely on from power to clean water. And finally, uh, your role, you can play in helping secure every American and, and every, every American's uh, privacy. Uh, to me, this is hilarious. You know, how long have I been talking about this now? Con Edison is going to hit a few switches. The media is going to say that Russia attacked our infrastructure, our power grid. And people at home, without their phones, our computers are going to say, what? Agree with the mainstream media, let's invade Russia? Right now, everyone is docile, complacent, in their homes, on media sources, rapidly losing more and more spending power to these ridiculous government cycles. At what point are people going to stand up to this BS? Electricity bills have tripled. Food and gas prices have doubled. Millions have lost their jobs. And these morons will trust the clowns on television. Television is being used to manipulate you. I guess when it gets to the point where people actually start rioting and trying to find these scumbags, they will just burrow into their secret underground cities. What the fuck is this lady doing? She's spying on me? Yeah, it's pretty easy to see that they're just trying to squeeze more and more out of the general population. You know, at what point do they manufacture enough of the chaos they want to just hit the switch on society? They're literally spelling it out in front of you. They're telling you what they're going to do. They're saying the Great Reset. They're saying what they want to do. They've spelled it out. Just people are too poisoned and brainwashed by the food and water and air that um, medications, pharmaceuticals, all that stuff is just, it's just discouraging to kind of be aware of what's actually going on. Uh, so if you guys uh, want to support me, you can check out frank for all my businesses. Uh, we just launched the meat granola, which we haven't had for a while, on frankiesrangefoods.com. And uh, we might do a live stream tomorrow at like 3 p.m. Eastern time if I don't feel like making a video for tomorrow. So uh, definitely check out the channel uh, tomorrow, see if we're going to do a live stream. Uh, but that's it, guys. So please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again for joining me, guys. And I'll see you for tomorrow.